Without any specific training, this was my best handstand push-up attempt at the time. Now, with four and a half months of targeted training and a lot of progress later, here is one of my training sessions, working towards unlocking the handstand push-up. Alright, first of all I wanted to say thank you so much for 10,000 views. 10,000 is just surreal. Um, so I thought today I would be doing a... Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> zoomed in. <laughs> there you go. Uh, first, so I thought today we would be doing a update on my handstand push-up progress. I'm so close to a full handstand push-up, but um, some would say my handstand push-up is a full handstand push-up, but I'm a little bit... <laughs> Uh, very particular about it, so I'm this close to it. Alright, although it says that I'm doing pike lifts as my first exercise, the harder progression is actually uh, momentum uh, handstand push ups, and um, because I'm doing six sets of the pike lifts. Uh, I'm gonna, the first couple sets that I can actually do momentum handstands I'm, will be momentum handstands. And because I can't do momentum handstands for six sets, I'll do the harder progression first for two to three sets, and then the easier progression for another three sets. You've heard it multiple times, be a doctor, this they weren't expecting. I'm telling mumsy about my person, there's no time for resting. Yo, what's the word up here? My name was near to carve. They tried to aim for man, but I ain't into chat, I learned to keep it stepping. Seen guys gain their strength from another man's weakness. That can't run J E double G jigging every week. Bread upon my mind since I was young. I was greedy for seconds. Nowadays it's seconds on my plate to see my people eat reason to To be fair, that was better than last week. Uh last week I could only do two sets of these momentum handstand push-ups, and this week I can do three. So that's a little good a, a good little improvement. So now we're gonna get to three sets of these uh pike lifts, which are essentially just lifting yourself up into a uh, pike position and then holding it. It's more of a static hold um, than a dynamic exercise. Uh, so these ones will do three sets of these. I'm trying to see loads. Seen it better tense from one wasted. That's how it be, bro. Put it in gang. Aim is to get out. Go out, stood and pill. Us never them ignore their notes. I had to reload. Still, I got one shot like it's a free throw. I'm in this from a so handstand push ups aren't actually in my training program, but um, I do do them every once in a while. Uh, during my training just to make sure to you know get a little check mark to see how far i am in the handstand push-up movement i really only lack the balance right now and i think a little bit of strength for the depth but otherwise i'm quite close to completing the handstand push-up and obviously con the the consistency is also a factor so at this point of training my shoulders are getting really really tired and so uh, they're burning and it's very difficult to hold the position for the military press we're going to be doing not super heavy it's going to be about 48 kg and um five to eight rep range now you might be thinking we're doing calisthenics why are you using weights so <laughs> for the military press i uh well i really quite like the military press because it kind of imitates the handstand push-up movement really well so you're going into it's like an upside down handstand push-up movement that's why it's a very effective exercise and that's why i like to use it um in terms of calisthenics now if you don't have um weights uh, at your disposal and obviously you're doing calisthenics you can just do a an easy easier progression to your hardest progression like that I just did previously. So um, that is another way, but I prefer doing military press because I think it works, um, it works better for me. So that's just my personal preference. Point to prove I'll keep it real. If we do is talk, you must your point of view was like a coyote chasing my goal. Why they gave me a brief animal cruelty couldn't jack it like Canada. You've done it before now. I'm supposed to do it for the generations, no relations, making my own plans. How's that for segregation? Kind of really hard to hold it down with all these expectations on me. No, no, no. <laughs> that last one was a struggle. That was really, <laughs> uh, you know, that's how it's supposed to go though. Now we go to the accessory exercises and then we're done. Cause still I'm trying to be better, cause better is what they want from me. This stuff off that you're choosing when you're losing, that's their honesty. Is it really destined for me? 
Yeah, so I thought I'd do this video because, um, first of all, it would have helped me when I started out. So the first three months of my handstand push-up uh, training, they weren't actually very effective because um, essentially I was doing too much volume. I made my own workout plan and I put too much volume into it. So I was too tired and that just didn't contribute to effective training. So for the last, I think, three months now, I've been uh, consistently doing this handstand push-up workout. I've seen some really good results. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to do this video because I think it would have been really effective for me to actually see someone else just how a handstand push-up workout should be stru uh, structured and how uh, you should actually go about training the handstand push-up. So I thought that would be a good idea. Um, if you want to see more of these, just let me know and I'll make some more.